All right, class, so let's talk about fertilization and implantation. So I think I mentioned this before in the last week. Um, the sperm is introduced into the um, female vaginal canal, into the female vagina. So the sperm has to swim all the way up through the vagina and into each of the fallopian tube. So one half is probably going to go to the other fallopian tube, and that that fallopian tube, they most likely will not have an egg. That sperm will have to swim all the way across, all the way into this area that called the ampulla of the fallopian tube, okay? So this can take three to five days um, for the sperm to get there. And so the sperm really should be introduced three to five days before ovulation. You know, sperm can live up to seven days in a female body. So um, it could be waiting for um, ovulation to happen. So once ovulation happens on day 14 of a 28-day cycle, the, the sperm is actually ready and waiting right here in the ampulla to fertilize the egg. So once the egg, well, a sperm enters the egg, the egg is not fertilized. And when that egg gets fertilized, now it has the DNA from, from, the, from the male, from the sperm, and DNA from the female in the egg. So the combination of the two, once each, per, each one set of chromosome from the male, one from female, now you have a pair. So now um, the whole process of human development can happen. So the chromosomes now are set, one set from the male, one set from the female. Then the egg with that fertilization happening can start dividing. You can see it start going through the division, okay? So as it, it divides into two cell, four cell, a cell, and keeps on going and going and becomes now more cells than more cells. It's called blastocyst, and that blastocyst cannot implant into the uterus, okay? And that takes about six days. And when implanted the uterus, remember, it's going to form the placenta and then the, the future embryo, okay? So that's implantation. Once a female implants the blastocyst, which is a fertilized egg, that has to be communicated to the body, right? You have implantation happening here. That has to be communicated to the body to stop menstruation. Because if a menstruation happens, then the lining will shed and then an implanted embryo, an implanted embryo will, not, um, will not be established and then it's no longer a pregnancy. So this endometrial layer cannot shed. So that message has to be communicated to um, the female body, okay? And that communication is set by the hormone HCG which is in red here. You can see that this is in the mid luteal phase of the first month. Okay, here's ovulation, and here's the mid luteal phase, and implantation has happened. Right after implantation, the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, is gonna be released by the embryo, so the implanted embryo, and eventually take over by the placenta that is formed. Okay, and that will last throughout the present pregnancy, but especially really high in the first three months of the pregnancy. And this is to make sure that the corpus luteum doesn't involute, because if it does involute, then the lining will shed. And it's also the hormone does a bunch of other things to tell the female body that she is pregnant. If you want to read about how the hormone affects female pregnancy, you can watch that video. So that is HCG that is released to make sure that you don't go into the menstrual cycle. Okay, so that is secreted by the embryo. Other hormones start really picking up. So you have HCG that you normally would not have before pregnancy and now is there. So HCG is the pregnancy hormone, okay? It should not be there in other parts. And in fact, the home pregnancy test actually tests for HCG. Also, estrogen is going to start really climbing higher than any other time in the female body. Okay, so it's going to keep on climbing all the way till the delivery. And same with progesterone, it's going to keep on climbing all the way until delivery.
These hormones have very important function in pregnancy. Estrogen promotes growth, just like we learn in the menstrual cycle. And this is to grow the breasts, the mammary ducts. The uterus will grow to about 400 times the size of pre-pregnancy. So all that's going to grow as a female is pregnant. Again, in the video, I'll talk more about it. Even the bones, the ligaments between the bone changes. So that's all promoted by estrogen. Progesterone is still the thickening hormone. It's going to make sure that the endometrium stays thick so that it does not thin and start shedding, causing a miscarriage. And you don't want that to happen. Okay. And then the mucus plug at the end of the cervix, you form a mucus plug here that will stay real strong through progesterone to prevent uh, anything going into the womb. Okay, including sperm. So progesterone really um, close off that um, cervix. Okay, so you can really um, look at these hormones. As the hormone HCG, progesterone, and estrogen, actually all three of them are made by the placenta. Okay, and at delivery, at birth, you can see all three hormones drop to basically none. Okay. And that is because at labor and delivery, um, the placenta uh, is delivered, okay? And we'll talk about that in just a few minutes, okay? So that is the hormones of pregnancy.